to Minute of Yiddish. Today's word is one you've probably heard before because it's been folded into the English language. The word is shmata. The shmata is a rag. So if you want your family to help you get ready for company, you look at them and you say, pick up a shmata and start cleaning. Shmata is often used to describe a raggedy piece of clothing, something shabby, a shabby garment. Please tell me you're not wearing that shmata to dinner. It's got yellow stains in the armpits. If somebody tells you you're wearing a shmata, you should probably be insulted. Oh, Sid, please tell me you're not going to shul in that shmata for the high holidays. You look like a hobo. We have an Aaliyah. If strangers stop you in the street unsolicited and give you a look of pity while handing you money, you're probably wearing a shmata. That's exactly what happened to my friend Edie recently. She went into McDonald's to go get a cup of coffee, wearing this long denim skirt between you and me. Who wears that but a sister wife? But she was wearing this long denim skirt that has not been in style since David Cassidy was on the cover of Tiger Beat. And a total stranger came up to her and asked her if they could buy her an Egg McMuffin. And this is why you never wear a shmata out in public. She thinks she has such fabulous taste. I don't know how to tell her that that shmata needs to go to Goodwill. Here's a fashion trend I don't get. For some time now, people have been buying jeans and jean shorts with the holes already in them, already shredded. In my day, that was a shmata. <laughs> now the word shmata could be something nice that the owner just doesn't want to wear. How do you expect me to wear that shmata to the wedding? I wore it to the last two affairs we've been to. Everyone's seen it already. The word shmata can also be used to downplay an outfit. This shmata? I got it at Lowman's two years ago, half price. Now, sometimes the word shmata can be used to describe a person. Maybe you're feeling tired or worn out after a long day of cleaning, or better yet, of shopping. So you might say, I feel like a shmata. Maybe you feel you're being taken advantage of, that someone is treating you like a doormat, someone they can just wipe their feet on. You might say, I feel like I'm being treated like a shmata. So a final thought, it's always better to wear a shmata than to be one. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, sei gesund. Be healthy, be well, farewell. I got it at this company called Schmatties, and they have a wonderful website, shopschmatties.com. They're also available on Amazon, and I have a wish list like you wouldn't believe. I want the one that says resting vetch face, and I want the one that says if you don't have anything nice to say, say it in Yiddish. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. They're just wonderful. This is not a sponsored video, but Schmatties, I love you guys. I just hope to give this wonderful company some more business because I love their merchandise. They have the best Jewish t-shirts.